Galveston ISD's announcement of our Returning to Learning plan for the 2020-2021 school year. I'm your Superintendent Kelly Moulton and I want to share with you the current decisions on how we will continue to educate our children during the pandemic. Before I get into the details, I just want to say how much I appreciate the support from our parents, our staff, and the community during this time of tough choices. This is new to everyone and we've been handling emerging data and changing regulations. Over the summer, we've received a great deal of feedback. We listen to it all and we want to make the best decisions and we'll do whatever it takes to make sure this is accomplished. I will cover many details today. Our timeline for the reopening, what the parent choice options will be, remote or on site, and details about both of those learning environments. For a full explanation of the Galveston ISD plan and up-to-date information as things change, I encourage you to frequently check GISD.org and visit the Returning to Learning page. We also announce new information on Facebook. First and foremost, I want you to know that we take the safety of our students and staff very seriously. Educating each child in the safest environment possible is our goal. We are in constant contact with local health experts from UTMB and the Galveston County Health District about recommended safety precautions concerning COVID-19. We are also working in collaboration with the Texas Education Agency and the State of Texas as we work to follow all requirements for educational options. First, let's go over some key dates to know about the return. The first day of school for Galveston ISD students will be August 24th regardless of the educational environment you choose. The on-site option will actually begin virtually as the TEA and the state has given public schools that choice and we will take advantage of that for at least the first four weeks. This four-week transition period provides for students to return on-site on September 21st unless our Board of Trustees submits a waiver to extend the time frame based on circumstances and health expert advice. Return dates for staff have not changed. New teachers will return on August 3rd and returning staff on August 10th. Staff will be contacted by their supervisors about how to report to work. So let's begin with our fully remote option, SAIL. Galveston ISD now offers a fully remote option for those families that prefer their children remain at home during this time. The fully remote option is called SAIL. Students, accessing innovative learning sale this campus is comparable to other online virtual academies that are out there but the biggest advantage is that you'll still be part of galveston isd have access to our local teachers and take classes that are part of our district's curriculum instead of one of those statewide or national online schools that isn't built to meet our specific needs as a gisd student enrolled in sale you retain your schools of choice placement should you elect to return on site at some point. Sale is completely online and can be accessed anytime, anywhere there is internet connection. You will be using the Canvas Learning Management System that all GISD classes are built upon. The district is in the process of purchasing more than 3,000 new computers and 1,200 hotspots to loan to our students in order for each child to be able to take home a GISD device and learn online. We want to thank the Moody Foundation for providing us nearly $2 million to make this possible. As we begin the year, using your personal device is appreciated while the shipments of new computers continue to arrive. One convenience of remote learning will be a flexible schedule. Yes, there will be some live interaction opportunities at specified times. But there will also be pre-recorded learning where students can complete assignments on their own time. There will be daily interaction and daily attendance. We've improved the remote learning experience from what we introduced during the emergency closure in the spring. SAIL will feel more like actual school. SAIL students will have GISD certified pre-K through 12th grade teachers. SAIL students will have access to electives, advanced coursework, special education, and bilingual services based on individual needs. Sales students will be able to pick up free breakfast and lunch from the district at designated campuses. 
SAIL students will have full access to GISD counselors and social and emotional support professionals as needed. SAIL students will be eligible for extracurricular activities as long as they adhere to attendance requirements. The choice to attend SAIL will be available in GISD Skyward Family Access beginning Monday, July 27th. Instructions about how to do that will be posted on the SAIL website under the registration tab and an email will be sent to all parents. If a student decides to switch from sale to on-site after the school year begins, that is possible but can only take place at the end of a grading period. There are even more details about sale available on the district website at gisd.org slash sail. Now let's talk about on-site. Galveston ISD's on-site option will obviously look different than what we are used to because of the abundance of safety precautions that will be taken on each campus. In fact, the first health-based decision is to not begin the school year on-site at all. Health authorities and the TEA have identified a four-week transition period where those who choose on-site will attend class virtually for the first four weeks. During this four-week transition, small groups of students will be invited to campus for specialized instruction and safety protocol practice. Based on the progression of the virus, we may need to extend beyond those four weeks, but our plan right now has students choosing the on-site option to begin arriving at schools on September 21st. While learning during the four weeks of transition, students will be assigned to their actual teacher, the one that will be teaching them face-to-face when they begin attending class in person. Should we return on the 21st, our pre-K through eighth graders will have a traditional five day a week experience. At Ball High, we will introduce a hybrid model where students will be on campus two days a week and working remotely the other three. Not only do we want our community to be healthy, to support the opening of our schools, we want to do our part while at school so let me tell you what will be in place for each and every Galveston ISD school. There will be limited access to each facility. Parents are to remain in their vehicles for pickup and drop off. Only those essential to school operations will be allowed entry into the building. That basically means students and teachers. Even I won't have access to the campuses unless it's really essential. Everyone entering a GISD facility will be required to wear a face covering. All students, all ages. We've seen in summer school that even our pre-K kids handle this well throughout the day and that it's developmentally appropriate for almost everyone. Temperature checks will be administered to staff along with frequent health assessments for all students and staff. Campus nurses will determine if a student or students need to be screened for fever. Social distancing of six feet will be the norm, including spacing desks and classrooms as far apart as possible, depending on class size. We are aiming for no more than 15 students in a class. Floor stickers advising the six foot rule will be utilized for lines to the bathroom and high traffic areas. There will be hand sanitizer stations, mandatory hand washing intervals, and professional cleaning and disinfecting of buildings on a daily basis. Breakfast and lunch will mostly be served in the classrooms to avoid large gatherings in a room such as a cafeteria. As always, students may bring their own lunch, but no outside food deliveries or lunch visitors will be allowed. Bus transportation to and from school will be available for eligible students. If you have requested bus services, you will be contacted to confirm pickup locations and times. While riding GISD buses, everyone will wear a face covering. As far as electives and extracurricular activities are concerned, we will continue these only if we are able to maintain the same safety pro protocols that we have in a traditional classroom. That means classes like band, choir, art theater, and other interactive studies such as CTE will have to be modified or discontinued for a period of time. We expect that the UIL will issue guidelines on this and how or if athletics and fine arts will be able to take place in the fall. 
We know that in-person classroom instruction is the best way for most students to learn. And we want this to be our main delivery method, but only if it's safe. The health department and unpredictability of the virus will dictate how we can phase in on-site school days back into our lives. Our hope is to have children and teachers in classrooms sooner rather than later, but never at the expense of our staff or families. Hopefully you've already completed your annual registration. We did this online throughout May and June. Therefore, all GISD registered students are automatically enrolled as on-site. So there's nothing more to do if you want to choose the on-site learning model. Only if you want to attend SAIL remotely will you have to make that selection. If a student decides to switch from on-site to SAIL after the school year begins, that is possible and can be done at any time by notifying the principal. What I've gone through in this video are only highlights of the Returning to Learning plan, which is found on our website and will be emailed to each and every parent and staff member. The full plan details other things like intermittent closures, which will take place on campuses that exceed 10% confirmed COVID cases. It also talks about our grading policy, technology distribution, and accommodations that will be made for our students with special needs. I know this plan or any other plan will not satisfy everyone. Some need school to open as soon as possible so they can go to work at their jobs. Some would like to stay off-site as long as possible for health reasons. We've surveyed families and staff, asked for input along the way, and answered so many FAQs on the website that we can't even call them frequently asked questions anymore. They're just every asked question. We tried to answer them all, even the really specific ones. Our goal was to listen and demonstrate thoughtfulness as long as we could before putting forth this decision. Our reopening procedures are grounded in the broad-based and collective needs of everyone. And we know we won't make everyone happy, but everyone's needs were taken into consideration. In an effort for continued transparency and to listen further to the community, Galveston ISD will host a virtual town hall on Tuesday, July 28 at 2 p.m. This will be a Zoom meeting open to the public so we can hear directly from our parents, staff, and community. The information on how to join the Zoom will be posted on our website and through social media. To our entire Galveston ISD family, I thank you for trusting us to do our best to protect you and your loved ones as we get back to educating our children and doing whatever it takes to improve student outcomes. Thank you for choosing Galveston ISD, and we'll see you all in one form or another on August 24th for the first day of school.